We took a 207 field trip to Ellesmere Barbecue in their brand new location in Portland on Stevens Avenue. We're with Jeremy and Adam. Guys, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, pleasure to have you. We're about to cook something that's on your menu, and it sounds like this is a good favorite one. One of the fan favorites, yes. Mahi tacos. Why don't we throw those on the grill? Fantastic. Throw the tuna on the grill. And you're making us a chipotle mayo that goes with I it. I am. So uh, why don't you take this? OK. All right, so we're going to start with about a half a cup of mayonnaise, a, uh, a tablespoon of chipotle, which is uh, you know ground smoked jalapeno peppers. We're going to add in about a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice. Keep mixing. Yeah. And then about a quarter cup of cilantro. And it's really that simple. That is simple. But it's absolutely delicious. And so this is what the taco is going to get topped with once uh, once we're all done cooking it. Super creamy. OK. And then you have. Yep, we're going to slide this over here. So now we're going to do our corn salsa. So um, when we first opened, we used um, corn on the cob. And it worked great, but you can't always get it fresh and stuff. So we decided to start using frozen corn, which is always, you know, um, processed at the height of freshness. And uh, we grilled that, which we have right over here. So we have basically a two-pound bag of grilled corn. Is this a house favorite, the corn oh, salsa? Oh, this is absolutely a house favorite. And as, as, as you can see, you know, that has a wonderful smell. And if you want to start mixing that, so we're going to add our spices. So we have uh, some kosher salt, some garlic, some cumin, and some ground pepper, black pepper. That's how you say it, cumin? Cumin. I think everybody says that differently. I hope not. All right. Well, and, we uh, say it wrong. We say <laughs> yeah, it right. exactly. That's fine. Uh, we have some uh, Bermuda onion, some red onion. I have a quarter cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil. You talked about the corn being frozen, but it's really important for you guys to, to shop locally for your ingredients. Oh, absolutely. Like. We use as many as we can, but this is an ingredient that obviously you can only get locally right. a few uh, months out of the year. Right. So here's a uh, quarter cup of uh, fresh squeezed lime juice. And here is a pint of grape tomatoes that are chopped. There we go about a quarter cup of cilantro, chopped. Who comes up with the recipes for you guys? Is it sort of a collaboration? Is yeah, it... it's a collaboration. Um, we, we work really hard on the, you know, we test them out on uh, friends and family. And then uh, once we get a recipe that uh, really works, we try and be as consistent as we possibly can. Yeah. So. Get the thumbs up. All right, now let's work on that marinade, it sounds yes. like, for the tuna. So, this is delicious. This yeah. is the best part? Yes. Yeah. Very good. So, all right. I will have we'll hold you. Hold that too, yeah. Yes. I'll have you stir once again. So. This is about the only thing I'm good at is the stirring. <laughs> I love we the got, color of that. That is a third done. cup of tequila. You can oh. use as. You were right. You this can use the, the cheap yes. stuff or you can use the good stuff. That's up to you. Two tablespoons of cumin. Okay. Some uh, kosher salt and black pepper. tablespoon of fresh chopped garlic, quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice. Oh, this smells amazing already. Two tablespoons of ground chipotle. Two tablespoons of uh, chopped cilantro. And two tablespoons of scallions, all ready to go. So it doesn't look pretty, but when you uh, marinate the, the mahi-mahi in that. Um, how, how long do you let that sort of soak in? Uh, we usually do it the day before, so okay. it has overnight. I'm going to plate up the tacos. How we do them here? Fold them in half. The white cabbage. The red cabbage. Because again, colorful. Absolutely. The mahi on top. Slide that here. Some corn salsa.
And then just a drizzle of this lovely sauce. I read one of your blogs that talks about Instagram worthy food. Yes. And this is definitely Instagram worthy. Yes, we have a lot of shots of it. And there you go. It, then it gets garnished with some cilantro. This looks fantastic yeah, though, guys. It's delicious. Very summertime. Yeah, it smells amazing. All of those flavors coming out right there. Guys, thank you so much. Oh, Our thank pleasure. you for being Adam here. And Jeremy at Ellsmere, Ellsmere Barbecue in Portland on Stevens Avenue and 207. We'll be right back. You can find the recipe to this on our website.